I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit in the midst of my body, and the visions of my head uh, troubled me. I came near unto one of them that stood by, and asked him the truth of all this. So he told me, and made me know the interpretation of the things. These great beasts, which are four, are four kings, which shall arise out of the earth. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. A lot of Israelites are underestimating the times we're living in. Too many Israelites are taking for granted the opportunity the Most High is giving his people to repent and to return to him. Israelites, now is not the time to fight amongst yourself. Now is the time to draw near to the Most High. If you come close to the Father, the Most High will draw near to you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. The time have come for Israelites and strangers who have been deceived by religion to realize that you have been drawing near to the God of this world. The Most High, the God of Israel, is not the one you have accepted as your Lord and Savior, nor is the God of Israel being worshipped in the Christian church and the world. Remember, the scripture said, the world only accepts its own. The Most High, the Father said clearly in the scriptures for all to understand. Anyone who is a friend to this world is an enemy to the Most High. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. The Most High made it known in the scriptures, anyone who is a friend of this world is an enemy to him. The scriptures also inform us that the world only accepts its own. The Father is letting us know through his words that the world don't accept him. They, in fact, rejected him and his son he sent into the world. The God that is worshipped and served in Christianity is not the Most High. Christians made the God of this world their Lord and Savior. It's about time you understand this truth. Israelites, the nations don't know the God of Israel. Our purpose as the holy people was to teach the world about the God of Israel. We were supposed to be the light to the Gentile nations. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. As the salt of the earth, we failed our mission. We didn't bring anyone out of darkness. We joined the heathens in their darkness. We've allowed the Gentiles to become our teachers, as well as to tell us our history and culture. We allow the Gentiles to tell us who we are as a people. That is why the Most High removed his people out of his sight and scattered them all over the world as punishment. The heathens transform our journey to redemption into a worldwide religion. Most Israelites can't differentiate our spiritual journey to redemption from religious confusion purposely inserted into our sacred text to be a snare to us. Israelites, the gods and idols of the heathens is not our God. No matter how much their gods imitate the Most High and His Son, the gods of the heathens is not our God. Christianity's multiple gods in one is not our God. It's about time you understand this truth. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Israelites, there's absolutely nothing unique or great about white Jesus. He's an idol. The time have come for you to stop mistaking the word of God with the savior of this world. The Most High have no intention of saving this world. That is why the day of the Lord is coming upon all the heathens. As they have done, the Most High will do to them. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. We have Israelites wanting to make the God of this world their Lord and Savior. 
you have a God and a savior, Israelites. There's no need to make the God of this world your Lord and savior. The Holy One of Israel is all that you need. You don't need a God with split personalities to be your savior. The Holy One of Israel can care for his people through the angels he gave charge over you. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. But he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. As the signs of the times is upon us, we truly have to come close to our God. The awakening is the final lifeline the Most High is giving his people. Our focus should be on repentance and returning to serve our Father in the spirit and in truth. The Most High promised to redeem his people after his people repent. Most people believe they are waiting on the Father. The truth is the Father is waiting on his people. True repentance having taken place in the hearts and mind of his people. If true repentance took place, the awakening wouldn't be plagued with demons of division, strife, envy, hate, jealousy, witchcraft, and idolatry. The people of the Most High would recognize their error and return to serve the Father in the spirit and in truth in urgency. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Before the great tribulation takes place, the Most High is giving everyone the opportunity to get it right. The Most High always give his people the opportunity to repent before judgment. Before the flood came, the Most High warned the descendants of Cain and Seth of their wickedness. The Most High didn't send the flood without informing the people alive at that time. Adam, the first man, was aware of the flood long before the generation alive during the flood existed. The word of God warned Adam and Adam warned his children. Adam also knew it was Noah that would build the ark and his three sons would be the ones to repopulate the earth after the flood. Adam transitioned to the afterlife long before the flood came. O oh my son, hereafter shall a flood come and overwhelm all creatures and leave out only eight souls. But, O oh my son, let those whom it will leave out from among your children at that time take my body with them out of this cave. And when they have taken it with them, let the oldest among them command his children to lay my body in a ship until the flood has been assuaged and they come out of the ship. And now, O oh Seth, my son, behold, I have revealed unto thee hidden mysteries, which God had revealed unto me. Keep my commandment for thyself and for thy people. One of the many gifts the Most High gave to Adam was the gift of prophecy. Prophecy warn us before the coming event takes place. Nothing happens on this earth without the Most High revealing it first. Israelites, it's important for you to understand that the wrath of the Most High don't come upon his creation without a cause. Before judgment, the Most High give his creatures many passes and time to repent. Everyone alive today is aware of the end of the world. The prophecy about the end times was heard long before our generation existed. Our fathers prophesied to their children about their future before they transitioned to the afterlife. The testaments of the 12 patriarchs would give you the prophecies the sons of Jacob gave to their children. Naphtali, the son of Jacob from Bilhah, saw the scattering of the 12 tribes by two visions. Remember, the Most High said to us in the book of Numbers, if there be a prophet among us, he will make himself known to him in a vision and speak to him in a dream. And he said, hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. There are countless scriptures documented in the Bible of the prophets revealing their visions. For those of you who are not aware, 95% of the scriptures written are dreams and visions the prophets of old had. The Most High charged them to document their visions and dreams for the future generations. The Most High speak to his prophets in a dream. The Most High made Naphtali aware of the scattering of the 12 tribes long before our generation that is living in the land of our captivity existed. Those of us in the West, 
our ancestors, was brought to the West by ships to the land of our captivity. For in the 40th year of my life, I saw a vision on the Mount of Olives on the east of Jerusalem that the sun and the moon were standing still. And I saw, for I was there, and behold, a holy writing appeared to us, saying, Assyrians, Medes, Persians, Chaldeans, Syrians shall possess in captivity the twelve tribes of Israel. And again, after seven days, I saw our father Jacob standing by the sea of Gemniah, and we were with him. And behold, there came a ship sailing by without sailors or pilot, and there was written upon the ship, the ship of Jacob. And Joseph fled away upon a little boat, and we were all divided upon nine planks, and Levi and Judah were together, and we were all scattered unto the ends of the earth. Then Levi, girt about with sackcloth, prayed for us all unto the Lord. And when the storm ceased, the ship reached the land as it were in peace. These two dreams I told to my father, and he said to me, These things must be fulfilled in their season. After that, Israel hath endured many things. Then my father said unto me, I believe God that Joseph liveth, for I see always that the Lord numbered him with you. The prophecy of the scattering of the 12 tribes was known to our fathers. Throughout the generations, our ancestors were warned of the scattering. Today, we are the generation living in the land of our captivity after hundreds of years. We are the end time generation living in the land of our captivity. Israelites, it's very important for you to be well informed of the many warnings the Most High gave to his people and creation before he sends the word of God to execute his wrath. On multiple occasions, the Most High sent the word of God to execute his wrath. In the generation of King David, when the angel of the Lord stood over Jerusalem with the sword, ready to smite the city, when King David sinned. And David lifted up his eyes and saw the angel of the Lord stand between the earth and the heaven, having a drawn sword in his hand stretched out over Jerusalem. Then David and the elders of Israel were clothed in sackcloth fell upon their faces for those of you who are not aware the angel of the lord is the word of god the messiah he appeared to our fathers as the angel of the lord before he became flesh as you can see israelites the most high gave his people multiple chances before he displayed his wrath i have heard people criticize the most high for allowing what they call evil to happen in this world some go as far as to blaspheme the Most High for their own wickedness. Israelites, do not let the demons in the flesh influence you to criticize the Most High for the wickedness in this world. It was prophesied in the end times that many will fall away due to the increase of iniquity. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Israelites, don't allow the kingdom of darkness to cause you to blame the Most High for the increase of wickedness in the world at the end times. The Most High is not the cause to the wickedness in the world. The Satans have a way of getting the people to forget they exist. The Satans are the cause to the downfall of mankind. The scriptures told us in the book of Enoch, we were ruined because we learned all the abominations of the fallen angels. And a command has gone forth from the presence of the Lord concerning those who dwell on the earth that their ruin is accomplished because they have learned all the secrets of the angels and all the violence of the Satans and all their powers, the most secret ones, and all the power of those who practice sorcery and the power of witchcraft and the power of those who make molten images for the whole earth. The Most High warned his people. However, the people have to decide on what they will do. Unfortunately for the indigenous black people, our ancestors chose to learn the abominations of the Satans. In the Israelite nation specifically, our ancestors chose to rebel against the Most High on multiple occasions, causing us to be born in the land of our captivity. This generation continued to imitate the sins of our rebellious ancestors. The Most High said to us, if we repent of our sins and the sins of our fathers, he would hear us and forgive our sins. If they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers, 
with their trespass which they trespassed against me, and that also they have walked contrary unto me, and that I also have walked contrary unto them, and have brought them into the land of their enemies, if then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled, and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity, then will I remember my covenant with Jacob, and also my covenant with Isaac, and also my covenant with Abraham will I remember, and I will remember the land. The Most High's creation is not innocent from his wrath. Because the Most High is long-suffering and merciful, he give his creatures in every generation the chance to repent. However, Israelites, the signs of the times point to the end times. Many prophecies are said to be fulfilled in the end times, as the end time generation is in our best interest to take heed to the Most High's warnings. Everything written must be fulfilled. We can't skip steps. In order for our redemption to come, everything written must be fulfilled. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Israelites, we are the generation witnessing these things coming to pass. We must look up and know that our redemption is near. Because our redemption is near, lawlessness will increase. Don't allow the kingdom of darkness to turn your heart into stone towards the Most High. The scriptures prophesied before our gathering, there will be a great falling away and the men of sin, the Antichrist, will come into the world. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Israelites, the Most High warn us about the falling away and how the love of many will wax cold. Israelites, don't let the increase of iniquity measure your love for the Most High. It is prophesied that many will lose their fire for the Most High. Israelites, don't allow yourself to be amongst the population of people who fall away from the Most High due to the children of disobedience, wickedness. You've come too far to give up now. If you endure until the end, you will be saved. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Israelites, during the end times, everything will get worse, not better. I want you to have a realistic view of the end times. The gospel of truth that is being heard in all the kingdoms as a witness to all nations is exposing all the secrets that was hidden. Israelites, you must take advantage of this time. Get all the wisdom and understanding that you can get. Make sure your spirit is nourished with the words of the Most High. Make sure your belly is full of truth. You're going to need the sword of the spirit to stand against the wickedness in this world at the end times. When the Antichrist, the man of sin, comes onto the scene, he will have power to war with the righteous. At the appearance of the man of sin starts the great tribulation. The scriptures warn us about the great tribulation being a time that can't be compared to any time since the very beginning. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. The indigenous black people have been oppressed and persecuted throughout history. However, at the time of the great tribulation, the righteous will endure greater persecutions. Israelites, I want you to have a realistic perspective of the Great Tribulation. The Tribulation period is not about the Gentile nations being judged. The Most High will judge the nations for all of their wickedness at the day of the Most High. The Great Tribulation is the time of testing for the righteous. You will be tried at the maximum degree. This is why it's important for you to nourish your spirit with the truth. Because only the truth of the Most High's words, along with his peace, will get you through the Great Tribulation. Israelites, think about a time in your life when you went through it. It was one thing after another. It came to the point the trials and tribulations was so severe that it broke you. The Great Tribulation is just like that, but with greater trials. Israelites, don't think the Great Tribulation will only affect the Gentiles. The Great Tribulation is a time of testing for the righteous. During the Great Tribulation, many beasts will rise on the earth. The scripture spoke of four beasts. Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, 
The four winds of the heaven strove upon the great sea, and four great beasts came up from the sea, diverse one from another. Israelites, when the scriptures talk about the four beasts rising in the earth, know that the beasts are symbolic to four great kings that will rise in the earth. Each of those kings will be supported by the kingdom of darkness. The scriptures inform us in the book of Revelation of the two beasts that will rise in the end times. The dragon will give the beast its powers. The dragon in the scriptures is one of the many Satans. Israelites, I want you to know and understand that the Antichrist is a person. The scriptures describe him to be a man, the son of perdition. The book of Second Thessalonians call him the men of sin. The Antichrist is one of the kings on the earth that will rise in the end times. The Antichrist will descend from the king of the north. And in his estate shall stand up a vile person, to whom they shall not give the honor of the kingdom, but he shall come in peaceably and obtain the kingdom by flatteries. I'm not surprised that the Antichrist is from the north because Satan said in his heart that he would sit on the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Satan's seat is in the sides of the north. The Antichrist is the start to the Great Tribulation. The Antichrist is the first out of the two end time beasts. The scripture said the first beast will rise out of the sea. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power, and his seat and great authority. The scriptures you just heard revealed the first beast, the Antichrist. On his head, he had a name called Blasphemy. The spirit of blasphemy is strong upon many today. Israelites, this is why you have to be aware of what is influencing you behind the scenes. I've told you in countless messages, everything is a spirit. Don't allow unclean spirits to influence you to go against the will of the Most High. Not too many people talk about the spirit of blasphemy. In the end time, which is the times we're living in, the spirit of blasphemy will be strong upon many. I've made you aware of the spirit of blasphemy for you to examine yourself. You must cast out every unclean spirit that is causing a separation between you and the Most High. There's a lot of Israelites in the awakening that is influenced greatly by the spirit of blasphemy. The Antichrist spirit travels with the spirit of blasphemy. Last week you learned there are many amongst us with the Antichrist spirit. Unclean spirits don't travel alone. The scriptures made it known to us that we know we are at the last hour when the Antichrist spirit is strong upon the people. Israelites, the Antichrist spirit have been in the world influencing many in the beast system. That is how many of you believe the Messiah is God the Father instead of the Son. That is the Antichrist spirit with the spirit of blasphemy influencing you to accept the high level workers of iniquity, falsehoods. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. The scripture in the book of Revelation let us know the dragon gave the antichrist, the first beast in the book of Revelation, his seat and authority. Many will worship the beast. Majority of people alive at that time will have a mindset of no one is able to stand against the antichrist whom the dragon gave his seat and great authority. The scriptures let us know the antichrist was given power for 42 months. With the power given, he blasphemed the Most High, as well as the angels who dwell in the heavens. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast, who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. The spirit of blasphemy will have a stronghold on many. The Most High is making his people aware of this sin for you to turn from your wicked ways. The awakening is a precious time for those of you who love the Most High. 
the gospel of the kingdom, the truth is being heard to strengthen the people who will be alive to endure the great tribulation. Israelites, it's important for you to seek the most high while he could be found. The great tribulation is not judgment on the Gentiles and their nations. The tribulation will test the righteous. As you know, the Antichrist is the start of the tribulation. The Messiah prophesied that there will be great tribulation once the abomination of desolation is set up. For then there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Now that you know the Antichrist is the first beast in the book of Revelation, as well as the start to the Great Tribulation, Israelites, it's important for you to be aware of what will happen to the people of the Most High during those times. The scripture said in the book of Revelation that power was given to the first beast, the Antichrist, to war with the people of the Most High to overcome them. Power was given to the Antichrist over all nations and people. The first beast in the book of Revelation was given the authority to war with the righteous that is alive at that time. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Israelites, this is why I say to you, the great tribulation will be a time of testing and trials. You will be persecuted. The Antichrist was given the authority to do so. The Most High allow it to test the faith of all who profess to love and serve him. The persecution many will endure will cause many death amongst the remnant. All who will stand firm in the Most High and not reject their God, the book of Daniel revealed to us that the people who know their God will be tested to purify them. The book of Daniel revealed that many Israelites with understanding will instruct their people, but they will fall by the sword. We will have little help, but many will cleave. The Israelites with understanding that know their God will be persecuted to test them. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. And they that understand among the people shall instruct many. Yet they shall fall by the sword and by flame, by captivity and by spoil many days. Now when they shall fall, they shall be helped with a little help. But many shall cleave to them with flatteries, and some of them of understanding shall fall, to try them, and to purge, and to make them white even to the time of the end, because it is yet for a time appointed. To the remnant, I encourage you to read the book of Daniel to increase your knowledge about the end times and the tribulation period. As you heard in the scriptures, the persecution coming to the remnant that know their God is to test them and to purify them. Israelites, it's important for you to allow the Most High to transform you by renewing your mind. The Israelites that allow the Most High to renew their mind will be prepared for what is to come. The Israelites who allow religion to prepare them will fall for the flatteries coming out of the mouth of the Antichrist. They will be the ones to worship the beast. The Israelites and Gentiles with a religious mind have been programmed by the workers of iniquity to accept the beast. That is why all people who believe the doctrines of the mother harlot is set up for failure during the tribulation. All of them whose name is not written in the true lamb's book of life will worship the beast. Many Israelites in the awakening and religion continue to reject the true lamb of the most high. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Most Israelites who are bondmen and women to religion have no idea what is coming. Most of them believe they will be raptured away from the great tribulation. To the Israelites that are sleeping in the house of bondage, the time have come for you to reject religious falsehoods. The scriptures inform us in the book of 2 Thessalonians that the word of God is not coming until the working of the Satans are complete in the world. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. 
When the Messiah prophesied to his disciples about the signs of the times, the Messiah prophesied to his disciples that his coming is immediately after the tribulation. The book of Matthew confirmed what the book of 2 Thessalonians said. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Religion teach that the rapture will happen before the tribulation starts. The people won't experience any persecutions. Just like how they convince many by accepting Jesus as their Lord and Savior, their sins are taken away. Israelites' religious doctrines will send you to hell. Religious doctrines is not preparing you for what is to come. That is why so many will be angry when they are being oppressed by the Antichrist and no one rapture them away. Most religious extremists won't have a clue to what is going on. That is why they will worship the beast. Most of them won't recognize the Antichrist when he comes. Religious fairy tales, happily ever after, is the lake of fire. Anyone who read the scriptures with the Holy Spirit will see the beast will war with the righteous. How can you be raptured away if the beast will persecute the righteous? Israelites, the coming of the word of God will happen after you have been tested in the great tribulation. The book of Daniel confirmed what is written in the second book of Thessalonians and Matthew. Chapter 11 in the book of Daniel explains the Antichrist and his many works in the world for the time period given to him, as well as his end. Immediately in chapter 12 in the book of Daniel, the first two verses reveal our redemption by the word of God. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. When you know, you know. Only the Most High can reveal this truth to you. Just like the Messiah said to Peter, my Father in heaven revealed this to you, when Peter told him he was the Christ, the son of the living God. Israelites, know that I'm not trying to convince, persuade, or force anyone about Michael. It's the job of the Holy Spirit to convict you. My job is to obey the Most High and tell his people what he want me to tell you. What you do with the information is your business. I did my part. On the day of judgment, when the Father asks you and me, I can say I did what you ask of me. Those who deny the truth, you can explain to the Father why you allow the spirit of unbelief to steal the good seed. The gospel of the kingdom must be heard as a witness to all nations. Everyone must hear the truth. The truth will be a testimony to all who deny the truth. The Most High gave everyone the opportunity to hear the truth. They will be without excuse. The Great Tribulation is a time of trouble. The second beast in the book of Revelation is even more wicked than the first beast during the tribulation. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth, and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men and deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. The second beast will cause many on the earth to worship the image of the first beast. In addition, the second beast will be able to do great miracles that will cause fire to come down from heaven in the sight of men. During that time, the second beast will put to death all who don't worship the image of the first beast. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. 
Israelites, these are the persecutions the generation alive during the great tribulation will endure. How many of you is ready mentally and physically for this kind of persecution? Right now, our rights of freedom of expression and speech is slowly being taken away. Most people can't see this happening. Censorship on channels like this is one of the ways our rights to express our beliefs is being taken away. But during the tribulation, the workers of iniquity won't have any regards for anyone. It's either you worship the beast, the idol god of the heathens, or die. You don't have a choice in the matter. The second beast in the book of Revelation would be the one to require you to have the mark of the beast to buy or sell. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Anyone who don't have the mark of the beast can't buy or sell. Most people believe COVID was the mark of the beast. COVID is how the workers of iniquity prepared the people to receive the mark of the beast. What will you do when you can't buy food to feed your family without the mark of the idol God? Will you fold and accept the mark or will you stand firm and allow the Most High to test you to purify you? Will you try to hang on to your life by accepting the mark? The scripture said everyone who lose their life for the Most High will find it. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Israelites, are you truly prepared and ready for what is to come? Will you fold when the persecution becomes too much for you to handle? The great tribulation period will be a time of life and death. Free speech and freedom of expression and equality won't exist. The scripture said everyone who accept the mark of the beast and worship the beast will come under the wrath of the Most High. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Israelites, how come the pagan church don't teach you what is written in the authorized Bible they put out for the world to read? The truth is in the scriptures, hidden. The workers of iniquity discourage you from reading. By doing this, they can program you with religious falsehoods that will condemn you to eternal fire with the Satan's. If religion was of the Most High, they would teach you the truth of the Most High's words. As the Most High exposed what was hidden, we all can see how the truth is not found in religion. The spiritual wickedness in high places have taught the people lies. Israelites, I hope you're starting to see how religion hide the truth and pacify the people with false doctrines that give false hope. Are you going to continue to follow their doctrines and worship the same God as the synagogue of Satan? I hope the truth will encourage Israelites and Gentiles to come out of religious falsehoods. Ask the Most High to deliver you from religious strongholds. You must ask the Most High to renew your mind. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God? The Great Tribulation period is serious times. Israelites, you must take the time to learn as much truth as you possibly can, while the Most High is making the truth available for all to hear. During the Tribulation period, the truth will become scarce. The Antichrist is full of blasphemy. He won't allow anyone to worship the Most High. Remember, all who don't worship the beast will be put to death. During the Great Tribulation, there will be a famine of the words of the Most High. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. 
the Most High is revealing truth to prepare us for the days ahead. Even if we're not the generation alive when the tribulation starts, we must receive the truth with gladness and transfer the information to the next generation so that they will be equipped and ready. Don't set up your children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren for failure. If you allow your children to be taught by religion to prepare for the great tribulation, they will be destroyed. Teach your children and make sure the truth is rooted in them so that they will have a chance on the day of trouble for Jacob. The dry bones must live. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you. And ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Israelites, I encourage you to seek the face of the Most High while he could be found. The end times is not glorious times. It's definitely a time of trouble and lawlessness will increase. If you remain true to your God, the Most High will save his people. Remember, the testing of our faith is to purify you so that you can be ready for the coming kingdom. In the Most High's kingdom, you won't be the tail. You will be the head. As a people, we must know how to lead. The Satans know that they have a short time. The tribulation period is a time when the kingdom of darkness will give us all they have. We have to stand firm and trust the Most High, regardless of how we feel and our present circumstances. The Most High won't delay to redeem his people after the set time for the tribulation end. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. The Most High is warning his people for the days ahead. Israelites, don't sleep. Also, don't allow undisciplined people to carry you away from your journey with the Most High. Preparation is key. Wisdom combined with understanding is your protection. Don't allow the ministers of Satan to steal the good seed the Most High is planting in his people through foolish debates. Don't allow the kingdom of darkness to distract you from the truth. The great tribulation is closer than you know. Israelites, allow the Most High to disciple you for what is ahead. Only the Most High knows the end from the beginning. Israelites, give the Most High the opportunity through the Holy Spirit to set you free with truth. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. <laughs>